Hey man, y'all know what it is. We come in, we let the music settle, and then we hit them with the Gym Stars! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Look, if you like the video, like the video. Uh, subscribe for more daily 2K content. If you enjoy what we're doing here, please make sure you subscribe. And uh, like when basketball said, let me ask you guys a question. I know you guys want gameplay. I know you guys enjoy these videos right here. We know about 2K news and all of that. What type of gameplay do you want to see? Do you want to see wreck? We got plenty of wreck. You want to see Park and me just joking around with some of my subs and stuff? We, we can do that too. Just let me know what you guys want to see gameplay wise. And also, do you want to see any type of NBA, uh, like real NBA videos, like, you know, like updates and news and stuff like that, like I used to do, man? I'm the hardest working man at YouTube, so I just want to know what you guys want to see. Would you even watch that stuff, like Mike Corzimba style videos or Get Like Coop or my boy uh, Flight Mike, you know, videos like they do? Would you watch those or, or are you just not interested in that? Should I make a whole nother channel to do that type of stuff or what? Let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, man, look. Let's start at the beginning, begin at the beginning with the game itself. Um, I wanna, oh yeah, and also, if you like this shirt, man, we gonna have it up in the shirt, in the store. Dog work don't lie, dreams only get greater with work. That's how it goes. But anyway, man, look, speaking of dreams only getting, gre getting greater, uh, the events, the events are broken. I don't understand what's going on with 2K, man. It's just like, I defended the game and I've been on the side of the game and I've tried to, I, I, I tried to say, you know, maybe these guys are doing this. Maybe these guys are doing that. Um, maybe, I, I don't know what's going on. We got people finishing events. We got people winning events. We got people that are placing in events and they're not getting their rewards. Now, I, I don't know what the issue is with it. Um, I mean, you would think that it would be relatively easy. And, I, and like I said, we, we already said last week that it, it, it may not be as easy as we think it is or what have you. But you would think it would be relatively easy after the third or fourth event to get the people their, their stuff that they won. Like I said, the only thing that I would do, the way that I would do it would be, if you win an event or if you place an event, you're placed in a container, uh, a different container than everybody else, and boom, you have access to different things, different permissions than everyone else. And then once you choose your reward, that's it. It should immediately place you in the container, you should immediately win, or they should immediately push you these things, I, I don't understand why it's so difficult for them to, well, I do understand why it's so difficult, because you have so many users, you got so many players, you have to figure out how you're gonna deliver, you know, the uh, event delivery system, you have to figure out the delivery system, as well as, you know, who won legitimately and all that stuff, I got that. I don't understand why it's so difficult after a few years of us doing this. This is not the first year we've done this, so why on earth can't people get their rewards and stuff? Like I said, when we're not cracking down on people that are that are delaying. We're not cracking down on people that are cheating. We're not doing any of that stuff. We're not cracking down on people that are coming in and, and BSing the events. We're not doing any of that. So why is it so difficult? I just simply don't understand. Like I said, you should have a container for the winner and a qualifying event. The qualifying event is them placing, you know, one through 10, that's your qualifying event, and then you get placed into the container where you can do it, and then once you get what you get, you're out of the container. It's just like when somebody spins the wheel, they always get their reward, right? They always give you the weak, the weak Jordan, uh, them Jordans, they love giving you your, your free tattoo that nobody cares about, or your my court item, that never makes them, that never messes up. But the events have been broken you can't play them, and if you can play them, you're gonna get delayed, and if you don't get delayed and you happen to win, you're probably not gonna get your reward. So, I, I, what's the point of even playing the events? It's like Saturdays and Sundays, are like, hey, 2K is gonna, uh, it's pretty much saying it's Lagmus. Uh, Merry Lagmus to you and your family, because on Saturday and Sunday when they have an event, the park is just gonna get lagged up, you're gonna waste time playing the event, and, and it's just not, look, we know that they're working hard on the game, man, but at this point, it's really looking like we are all beta testers. We paid $60, and in some cases, $110 to test the beta for them, and that's fine, as long as they get it working, but we're over a month in, what are we, October? We, we are a month and, and six days, eight days into it, I think it came out September 6th, we're a month and six days in, man. The game should be functional. It should be working, and, and we should be, the bugs and stuff should be over with. Just think about it. 
They just fixed the game last week. So for literally a month, the game was nearly unplayable. Like we couldn't play it. Most people couldn't play it because we were getting blue screens. That's fine the first week. And then they fix it the second week. And then they then they come back the third and the fourth week. And then they just fixed that. So three out of four weeks, a lot of people couldn't even, even play the game and they had to play my career. That's why people were like, dang, you're 99 already, you're 95 already, you must have did the glitch. No, I just couldn't play anything other than my career. That's all I could play. I didn't have any park games played. I probably had like, I might have 150 park games played right now just because I couldn't play the game. The only thing I could do is play Wreck and I could play my career and that was it. So that's why I had my badges. But anyway, moving right along, man. The game is in a, in a state right now where it's really teeter-tottering. I'm seeing a lot of people saying that the game is right there on 2K18 status where a lot of people are going to lose interest in it and just ultimately stop playing it because they either can't play or it doesn't work for them they're lagging the events don't work and it's just like 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 what can we do you guys let me know down in the comments uh, is the game getting to the point of 2k18 or is it not quite there yet i don't think it's quite there yet i think this still has a chance to be a really good game but some things have to be addressed and we're going to go over those right now the first thing that has to be addressed bro Hot spots are broken. I promise you I was playing the game yesterday. I only shoot from one spot on the court. It was a hot spot. I missed three shots from that spot. And I can't prove it, but in during the rec game, it went from hot to cold. I'm like, bro, how is this a cold spot? I haven't missed from over here all day in rec. If you were watching my stream yesterday, you know I ain't missing rec. And, and it's like, it just turned into a cold spot. I haven't taken 15 or 10 shots from that point. Well, I had already taken, but we hadn't played no 25 games. My good games hadn't fallen off. I always shoot consistently from there. Y'all saw me shooting five of six, um, uh, eight of nine, and all of that from three. But you know it is what it is, man. So maybe, hey, maybe one of my good games rolled off and, and something like that. I don't know. But you guys let me know. Does it seem like the hot spots, it seems like the hot spots are working from your last 10 shots. It doesn't seem like it's like the rolling window of your last 25 games like they said. It seems like it's your last 10 shots in that spot. And I guess if you haven't played 25 games, maybe it is your last 10 shots or something like that. I don't know, or maybe that's how it's set in the hot spot. But it seems like it's a rolling window of your last 10 shots more than it is a rolling window of your last 25 games. Maybe they should just do a rolling window of your last 75 shots, man, and then we just go from there and just call it a day. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. You guys let me know. Does the hotspot system seem to be working? Like, I, I bricked from the spot like three times, and then I couldn't hit, and it was cold. And then the next thing I knew, I was shooting. I started, I, I hit like five, five of six from three the next game, and it was back hot. It was just like, it was just really weird, but it seemed like it happened during the game. It may have happened, it may have, we played so many wreck games yesterday that it may have been the next game or whatever, but it is what it is. Uh, uh, they've got to fix that or make that be more consistent or, or at least make it work the way that they intended it for it to work. I don't care if they change something, just make it work the way that it's intended to work. Much like screens, because screens in this game are ridiculous. You have people that like, look, I know screens are in basketball. I know people use screens in basketball. There are not people that rely on screens in basketball, as in there's no way for me to get open other than somebody who has a, a 7'3 Burley center to come here and set a screen and then turn his body and set the screen and turn his body and set the screen until my until my pick dodger gets fatigued, but his brick wall never, never in, in, incurs fatigue. And then I ultimately get caught, and then he runs sprints over to the hash and shoots the ball. Now that's called comp in this game. Like that's trash. If if the only bro, I'm gonna tell you straight up. If all you can do is run off screens to get to get open in this game, you're not good. That's all to it. If that's the only thing you got, and then the guy tried to come and play me straight up and be like, well, I don't need screens or whatever. He must have been watching my stream, so I don't need screens. Watch this, steal the ball from him three times in a row. They go back to screening me to death. Like, it, it doesn't make sense that a player doesn't have to be good. They just need somebody to come play play uh, bodyguard for them and set screens. And there's nothing you can do about it. And I don't have a problem with you running me off of a screen in, in a legitimate way. But the, the way that the screen, if the guy is, if the screener is here, right here on my right side, and you're on my left side, and you're going to the left, my left, 
This screen should not influence me. I should just be able to run away from the screen. Screens should only influence you when you're trying to, to navigate them or negotiate them. But the screen is on this side, I'm going this way, and it's like I start running this way, and I get sucked in, and then I get the, the whole brick wall animation where I'm just, huh, I got Hall of Fame pick dodging. This should not happen. The, the, the sphere of influence for a screen should be so minuscule that if I don't get touched by it, I don't, if I don't run straight into him, I shouldn't get influenced by it. But that's how the game goes. Throw the ball behind your back and then uh, and make him go into the screen. Keep throwing it behind your back, doing the wrap around behind your back like my boy Coyote says until somebody gets caught by a screen and then shoot the ball whenever you get open. Or if you can't get me caught on the screen, you, you hope that my center helps and then you just run, pick, and roll. And then if you take a bad shot and shoot an abysmal percentage like the guy shot, then... The center gets the ball anyway. He's going to get the rebound because they're playing five out. And then, you know, like, it's, it's ridiculous that you can do things like that and just straight up manipulate the game and, and, and don't even have to have any skill. And it all starts with wiggling behind screens. If you couldn't do that, in real life, we can trap the screen, make it hard on the passer. In real life, I can deny him access to the screen. I can just stand in front of him. No, you're not going to get to the screen, and I'm not going to get sucked in by it. That's why you can't do that in this game, because you try to deny, to deny him to the screen, then you're just going to get pulled into it, and then you're going to sprint off and shoot the ball anyway. In real life, there's so many ways that you can counter this. That's why when people come with the argument that people, or people use screens in real life, then I, I just can't hear it, because you can't do any of the counters that you can do in real life. Now, I will say this. If they make regular screens, like they make off-ball screens, where they're just, you're just kind of in the way, and you can just run around them and stuff like that, that would be, that would be perfect for me. Why is it that for off-ball screens, let's be real, for off-ball screens, screens are a pebble in the river, or a rock in the river, where you can just go around it, go through it, do something like that. On-ball screens, it might as well be the Hoover Dam. Boom, you just getting stopped just get stopped and it's and there's nothing you can do about it and then like i said that's like coyote said everybody think they want to be at the top of pro am and want to be a top team but that's all they do up there those guys aren't uh let me let me see a lot of those guys are better but if they're not the point guard or the center like man man be saying they probably ain't that much better than you all they're doing is sitting in the corner being a traffic cone just sitting there waiting to shoot the ball or they're guarding the wing or they're not doing anything it's so boring to watch that stuff sometimes. It's just like, like it's just, I don't want to watch a game where it's your lock against my my center and, and my point guard and then my lock against your center and the point guard. That's boring. We want to see somebody really play. We, if these guys are supposed to be the best of the best, why don't we see everybody playing? It's only two, it's only one person that's, that's, that's kind of marginally good and then you got the center that's in the play. That's it. It's, it depends on how good his screen. Anyway, man, I don't want to talk too much about that. I might got some people that play pro am and play that stuff, and, and they might be fans. So I don't want to alienate anybody. But for the most part, that's how it is. You got some dude, you got some dogs out there now, like Bear the Beast and stuff like that. But other people, man, most for the most part, that's all I see is people throw the ball behind their back, run off a screen, and uh play. But you know, it is what it is, man. But screens coupled with the the awfulness that is interior defense. It's making the game almost unplayable at a high level because that's all they do is abuse that. So it's screens, throw the ball to the center. You know your center can't stop him going to the hole. Even if he does try to stop him going to the hole, you can just throw it up nine times out of 10, the ball is going in, no time and no nothing. Very late, 100% smothered, cash. Very early, 110% smothered, cash. Late, 195% smothered, cash. Big center rolling to the hole. Oh, and don't get me started with the point guards cutting out of the corner. The point guard, no, if you do play the point guard and he decides to go to the rim, your interior defense, if you didn't put interior defense in there, that's fine. You're like, well, I ain't got interior defense, so maybe I can't stop it, which I think is ridiculous, by the way. It should only take about 35 to 40 interior defense to stop a guard going to the rim. That's stupid. But, hey, it is what it is. Because you can shoot in the center's face on the perimeter. I I'll give you that. But we we, we just going to trade that off. But with a guard going to the rim, a guard in good position with 35 with thirty five interior defense, that should be sufficient to make you miss a layup. If he's playing really good defense, he stays in front of you, keeps in front of you, and jumps at the same time you do. 
35 or whatever it is, hell, one should be enough if you make a bad decision. There should never be a license in the game to make a bad decision and a rating should never be that. You have a rating in the game that is interior defense if you turn the layup all the way up to where you can't miss them already. So now a guard can just drive to, look, we were playing the game yesterday. They got they got interior guys. I told him, man, man, bro, I think you can split. I really think you can split that defense and just dunk on those guys and there's nothing they're gonna be able to do about it. He dropped 40 on the dude in an ISO situation because the interior defense is so abysmal. Like what we said, it's so bad that we're going to start abusing it now. That's what we're going to start doing. So we're just going to go to the hole. Guards don't even have to think. They just go to the hole and just dunk on the center. Doesn't matter. Like I said, 5,000% smothered. Very late. Bucket. 10,000% smothered. N.A. Cash. You don't even have to think going to the rim. So it makes the pick and roll. It makes comp competitive game kind of a joke. You can't play defense on the interior. So the roll part of the pick and roll, they're always going to score. If I do ride with the guard the entire time, he can just go to the rim and he's gonna score no matter who it is. And then if he goes in there and we switch it and my center's there, he still has a 90% chance to just score the ball in the center's face. These things have to be addressed and they have to be fixed and nobody's talking about them because you, some of you guys like, not, not, not you guys that are watching the video, but some people actually like being able to go to the rim on the center, not think at all and score the basketball. It doesn't make sense. You shouldn't be able to shoot in people's faces. You shouldn't be able to make buckets or uh, make layups no matter what the situation is. And you shouldn't be sucked into screens that you that are that are not properly placed. And also, like I said, what what's something that they can do with the screen? If you hold the screen for 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 more than a after you negotiated the screen the first time, I think it should just get less and less effective. Like that dude should literally fade into obscurity. Because once you're aware of the screen and you successfully negotiated it, I'm just gonna go above the screen the whole time, or I would just stand above the screen, force you to make a decision. Maybe he's gonna drive to the hole, but he's gonna drive to my center. There's, like I said, there's so many things in real life that you can do that you just can't do in this video game, but they have to fix these things. These things have to be addressed or this game is gonna go down the tube. It's gonna be just like 2K18. It's gonna be dead and people are gonna be watching more 2K19 than 18. And it, I mean, it is what it is, man. We still early in the game. You guys can fix it. You guys let me know. If you play high level, um, if you play high level uh, Pro-Am or high level Rec or whatever, and, and speaking of which, uh, Zach Timmerman says your rec, your rec hot spots, they go over to Pro-Am. So, happy birthday. Anyway, if you play high level rec, high level Pro-Am and all that stuff, let me know if you've noticed this. Is that all people do at high level? Because that's all I've ever noticed since 2K16. Set a screen at the top, keep running the person off the screen, hope he gets caught, and then either shoot it, or if the center doubles you, immediately throw it, throw, throw it to the roller, and there's no way for the center to either get back underneath the roller or steal the pass, you can't do it because that's just how the game is programmed. Y'all let me know if that's all you guys see and it's just my lock versus your, you know, whatever. You, I, I said it already, man. Let me know if that's all you guys see and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one, man. Um, Have a good day. Remember, dog work don't lie. We getting ready to sell these shirts. If you think you're gonna get one, let me get a dog work don't lie down in the comments. And, um, you know, uh, gym star down in the comments if you're a real gym star. Hey, Jay, 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 I need you to uh, hit me up on Twitter so I can get your address so we can send you the, uh, Send you your, your gym star shirt. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Holla! Hey, like I said, man, do I got legitimate bitches that I'm saying? Or, or am I just crying? Y'all let me know down in the comments. And I'm gone. Peace.